Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have our Woolworths grocery haul to go through with you. But firstly, I thought I'd run through our weekly meal planner. This week I've got two roast dinners organized. So I really like roast dinners because I find them so much easier just to, um, just to meal plan around and the the family really enjoy them. So this week I've got a roast pork. I picked this up from Aldi a couple of nights ago because I did order one at Woolworths but they didn't have any in stock. So I just went into Aldi and picked one up from there. We're going to flatten the pork and rub it with oil and make like a really nice crackling out of it as well. And I'm just going to have like potatoes and pumpkins and obviously some peas or beans with it. And because I got a really good size pork from Aldi, I'm going to have two nights out of it, which is really good. So I'm going to have pork, noodles, and ginger stir fry. And for the sauce on top of that, I'll be just using like some chili and soy sauce. And I'll probably put like some um, broccoli with it and things like that that I've got in the freezer. I also picked up some chicken snitchels while I was at Aldi along with the pork that I got. So I'm just going to be doing a bit of a cheats way with that and making a chicken parmigiana with pasta sauce and some cheese on top and we'll probably just have that with some like fresh lettuce out of the garden and some tomatoes another night I'm trying to fit in a, like a fish night so we're going to have like a garlic butter salmon and I'm going to have salad with that as well and then I did order a roast chicken but it's really small so I'm not going to be getting two nights out of it like I wanted to I probably will get like a couple of sandwiches out of it for lunch but unfortunately there's not enough for two nights dinners so I'm going to be just having a roast chicken, pumpkin, potatoes and peas one night. I've got some really nice blade steak. I'll show you that in our grocery haul. But I'm going to be making like a really nice stew. I've got beetroot, jam and red onion. And I make like a really nice stew out of that. And I find like the jam and the beetroot, it just feels like it sort of tenderizes the steak as well. So I put that in the slow cooker and cook that for, you know, about five hours. And I'm going to be putting like mashed potato with that. Another night we're just going to have leftovers because I have got like a lot of stew and, you know, we'll have something left over for that night. If not, the kids can just have toasted sandwiches or we can just have something on toast or some soup. So that's our family's weekly meal planner for the next seven nights dinners. I hope it's given you some ideas for your family. And let's have a look at what groceries I got from Woolworths this week. So I got some drinks this week. Lucky I did because my youngest has come home sick with a cold this week. So I've picked up two bottles of Sweps lemonade and I also got two bottles of ginger ale. This was on special this week. So I just grabbed that as a backup. I've also got some lollies and treats and things for Halloween. Um, the, the kids don't do any door knocking, but they just, you know, they'll get some treats off my mum and also from us. So I just grabbed them a mint patty each. Um, these I'm not sure are going to last because I love mint patties and they used to be a lot thicker. I'm not sure if anyone else out there loves them, but I remember getting them in like a bag of 10 when I was a teenager and I just, I just love them. They don't sell the bags anymore, but I've also picked up a bag of 12s because, um, yeah, the kids can have a few of them and I can put them away. I've got some eucalyptus drops. These are the sort of ones I used to sell when I was a kid. Um, but they've got them in like little bags. So you've got like different bags in there. I don't know how many are in the packet. I think it's either six bags or maybe more. Six, I'm pretty sure. Six bags. Yep. Yeah. And yeah, so they get sticky quite quickly as soon as you open this bag, but they're good having little, um, singular bags for them. The kids, you know, enjoy them when they've got a bit of a sore throat. I've got some unsalted cashews here just to, um, you know, just to snack on during the day. Occasionally I put sultanas or raisin with, raisins with them or I have them with yogurt or breakfast. I've also picked up two bags of spirals. Like I said before, pasta, it's just expensive now. It's either the really cheap one or a really expensive one. I got two Sharpies because my kids are really into drawing now, which is really, really good. And they just love drawing with like Sharpies. They don't seem to last long, but when they color in with them, but I got these on special this week and they did have a really big pack on special, which I was going to get, but they were colored. So I just want to get the black ones for them. I've picked up some coffee capsules for my husband, just got the value pack of 20 and Hopefully he'll get a couple of weeks out of this one. I've also got a free range eggs, just one carton this week because I still have some eggs in the fridge. We haven't been eating a lot of eggs in the last week or so, but um, yeah, just one carton there. I've also picked up some milk. I've got my usual 
14 litres, the rest is out in the garage. We are still going through a lot of milk, probably more now. My boy's like 11, so he drinks a lot. I've got unsalted butter for cooking. I'm going to make them some muffins. And I've also got some Yoplait. I've got the passion fruit one. This one reminds me of like a cheesecake, so I really like the passion fruit Yoplait. I got some olive oil spread. I got this brand this week um, because it was, wasn't that much dearer than the home brand one. So I thought, you know, I'd give it a try. I know I have tried it before, but it wasn't any, it wasn't much difference between the home brand one in price. So I picked up that. I've got, um, a pawpaw. Looks like it probably needs a bit ripe to be ripened. I also picked up one avocado for their breakfast on toast. I only got two kilos of potatoes this week because last week I did buy a big bag, but we've gone through them. And just got two kilos just to stay under budget a bit this week because I have spent a fair bit. I got one grapefruit for myself just to have for breakfast. I've picked up lots of bananas. We go through these quite quick. So that'll only last like the week and they're gone because we put them in smoothies and eat them for snacks and school. I've picked up a bag of brown onions and also a really small garlic. I think they're about $1.50 each. I think they're getting smaller and there's definitely not much there when you're making like some meals with one garlic. I've got some corn. We just got two this week because I just halve them and we share them. We don't need a whole cob each. I've got a bag of carrots, one kilo bag. I've also got some mandarines because we seem to go through these really quickly. The kids have them for their lunch and I snack on them too. So just five mandarines there. I have still got some more in the fridge. I've got a pumpkin. I think this was about $5.50 this week, so that's okay. I have got pumpkins growing, but I'm not sure if anything's going to come of it yet. But yeah, so just the pumpkin because we're going to have that with our roast chicken and things like that this week. Now I've got some more sardines because I've been doing really well. I'd, last week I did have a can of sardines, so I am trying to incorporate sardines into my diet. I've got a bag of raisins just to um, sack on or to make, you know, cakes or things with. I've also got some diced tomatoes. I've got, a, got the big cans of diced tomatoes here because I like to do that, like use them in bigger meals. I've also got some baked beans. I just got like a Woolworths brand one and also the Heinz beans because they're really expensive now. They're not really on special that much and I couldn't get my SPC spaghetti so I just got the Legina spaghetti. I'm not sure what it's going to be like but I'm going to give that a go. It wasn't a bad price and I've got some Mexican style bean mix and just a four bean mix as well just to have in the pantry because I do use beans a fair bit even though some of the people in my family don't like beans and I've also got some chickpeas here and another can of diced tomatoes because we just go through so many diced tomatoes and pasta sauces I do know now what I need to stock up on and what I don't but definitely um, diced tomatoes pasta sauces beans and things like that and canned spaghettis We've got some of the Polish sauerkraut here. My husband is addicted to sauerkraut at the moment. It goes on everything, on sandwiches with cheese, on hot dogs, on sausages, everything. I've got some brown onion instant gravy here. I do like buying just the normal gravy. I find I go through this instant gravy really quick. I've just got our normal essentials mayonnaise. This is the big jar. We only really use this one now. I've also got some Vegemite. This says bolognese on it, so they've obviously got names and things on them. But yeah, just got the big jar because we're just going through Vegemite really quickly. I seem to have a lot of Vegemite now as well for sandwiches and I have it on toast. But you know, the whole house loves Vegemite. I've also picked up this for my husband. This is a coffee frappuccino. It's a Starbucks one, so it's a bit of a treat for him. I think it was about $3, so it wasn't like on special or anything. I just thought, you know, buy him something. He will probably like it. I'd say he would. He's probably going to put some ice with it in a glass and, um, yeah, have a bit of a frappuccino there. I got some Hershey syrup, just the strawberry one this week. I'm finding that the chocolate and strawberry syrups don't taste the, like, the way they used to, but I have never tried this one, so I'm I'm just going to give it a go. I also just got some greens banana cake. This was on special. I don't mind the greens one just to have in the house. I probably will make it this weekend for the kids along with maybe some muffins, some chocolate chip muffins, just so I've got a bit of a backup in the freezer. I've got a big bag of raw sugar here, just three kilos. I always buy it like the big bag, you know, because it's easier and, you know, I don't have to keep on buying it all the time. So I've just got that. I've also got some cereal for the kids. I've got some Milo cereal. This was on special this week and um, the kids like Milo cereal. They sort of never get get sick of it really. 
I've also got some of the Uncle Toby's Plus Iron one. This is just for myself. It's got nutty, cu- nutty clusters and cashews in it. Most of the time I like to eat cereal other than morning time, but, you know, it's good to have. So I've just got that for myself. I've got three loaves of soft white bread as usual. I was going to change it to a different type of bread, um, but it's just getting so expensive, the bread now, especially when you're a family and you go through so much. So I've just got that one, and I've also just picked up one wholesome country whole meal for myself or my husband. I just keep that one in the freezer and just make a piece of toast out of it every day. But with the kids, they only like the white bread. So, you know, and I would like to buy a different sort of a brand. But like I said, it's just it's just too expensive when we're going through it, even as it is, it's expensive. So, um, yeah, I'll keep an eye out if anything's going, you know, on special sometimes. But breads don't seem to go on special as much as other things, I find. Now I'll go through the cold things now. Now I did buy a really big chicken, but they've substituted me this for this one instead. And it's like half the size. I was really hoping to get two nights out of this one, but it's not going to happen. So it's, it's smaller than what it looks. Um, I know it was on special and everything, but I would have preferred like a biggest, a bigger size chicken. I've also picked up um, some more meat this week just to like stock up a bit. I've got some four quarter chops. They were, um, 16 a kilo I think it says there that's that right 16 a kilo so yeah it all meat's gone up now it's just doesn't matter where you go it just seems like it's expensive um you know even sometimes at Aldi we did pick up a pork the other day from Aldi so that's going to be on our our meal planner as I said but um you know it's just expensive everywhere I've got some chicken mince here because you know we can make lasagnas or chicken balls or something with that as well just feel like my freezer has got no meat in it at the moment or not much of anything but bread. I've got a barbecue meat lovers just to throw in the freezer as well. The kids will probably have that like on a weekend or maybe sometimes after school. Um, I've also got a big thing of mince here. This is going to be used for my fill your freezer Friday video for the next um, video coming out. And we've also got some beef blade for steaks here. Um, we've got a, this is a lot of steak here. So we're going to make that stew out of this, as I said, in the meal planner. And yeah, just it looks good and yeah so that was like $22 for that steak so yeah meat is really really rather expensive at the moment but you know I'm just trying to make a few meals out of things and trying to stretch them out as much as possible I have got some bacon for breakfast on Sunday morning we won't be using all that for breakfast we'll probably just use half of it and freeze the rest and then I can make like a a a rice like a bacon rice fried or fried rice is what I mean I've got some of this um mango sorbet I do buy this in summer it's 42 percent real mango and sometimes I just put it in with a smoothie with some strawberries or with a banana I find it really easy and we can have it as well eat it if you want like at any time I've got some of this new ice cream I think it is new it's called Choconella. it's creamy duo of chocolate and vanilla flavor ice cream so obviously half chocolate half is white so if you don't like strawberry that's a good combination to buy but I actually really like the strawberry ice cream funny enough but that is my shop today from Woolworths for our family of four I'll give you the total of the week how much I have spent I did get $15 off at Woolworths this week, but all up I spent $241.73. So I am trying to stay in budget there, but it's really, really hard. But I have bought a lot of meats this week. So next week in my shop, I won't be buying any meat because I've got a lot of meat for the next few weeks. I have also got some freezer meals. If you would have seen my Fill Your Freezer Friday last week that I bought out, So I'm definitely trying to um, incorporate more cooking and more freezing for our family. So I've got backup and trying to spin out as much as I can the meat and the vegetables and just trying to now save a little bit of money in the groceries and things like that coming up to Christmas because I know it all helps now. These are like the busiest months of the year. And, um, yeah, everything starts getting really, really expensive. Lots of bills come in, lots of presents we have to organise, sometimes birthdays, all sorts of things. But thank you very much for watching today. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you soon for my next ones. Thanks, everyone. Bye.